Hey guys, uh, it's time to update a little bit on uh, Moonbeam and their upcoming uh, Moon River, right? And, and also Glimmer uh, token distributions. And of course, we know that Moon River will be on a Kusama crowd loan. But what's interesting here is the session that uh, we, the ambassadors, had uh, with the CEO of Moonbeam himself. Hey, that's kind of cool, man, because this basically uh, allowed us to understand further these projects like where did all this come from uh, you know what was the rationale behind that and i think this is important especially if you are passionate about the project and you want to hold it for the longer term so derek start very passionately uh, in the sense that you know i didn't know this like moonbeam <laughs> actually came from a song and so did moon river right you guys are familiar with the moon river song that's kind of cool but we also want to know what this project is all about. What are the fundamentals uh, behind it? Okay, you guys know that this is supposed to uh, basically accelerate the uh, adoption of Ethereum uh, DAP. But this is where things differ. You see, Moonbeam's philosophy comes from Derek's experience of running Fuse, okay? And what he noticed was that for software developers, if you ask them to do too many things, they don't do it. So Moonbeam's development is based on the fact that Ethereum developers or Ethereum uh, software, the apps that are already on Ethereum, like MetaMask, guys like MetaMask, right? You just don't like the gas fees on Ethereum. But you guys are familiar with using MetaMask on BSC. That's quite easy, right? So applications like this can be ported over to Polkadot with the minimum, minimum amount of changes that's important and this is why moonbeam is different from other chains that are also quote unquote ethereum compatible because it is the easiest way to on-ramp your ethereum applications onto polkadot and moonbeam was also one of the earlier companies to go on polkadot and it was not easy right because polkadot has a different language called rust you know develop it on substrate but they selected a Polkadot because look, Polkadot allows many blockchains, different blockchains to interact with each other through the relay chain, right? And it also removes the requirement of governance onto Polkadot. Plus with Polkadot, you don't need to do security anymore. Security is handled by Polkadot themselves. This is a big advantage because it allows companies to develop much, much faster. And they're very confident of the polka dot security layer. So you now might be asking the EVM, okay? This seems to be the uh, secret weapon of Moonbeam, the uh, differentiator. Well, I can tell you that the DVM is developed by one of the superstars, okay? The stars of the polka dot ecosystem. And that's why it is very, very easy to use. And that's why it's very different from the rest of the polka dot or rather ethereum compatible uh, solutions now binance is on an acquisition spree right and, and binance has already announced that they'll be acquiring like three companies uh, a month and i'm here to proudly say that uh, even moonbeam has received uh, financing from from binance right and this is very important because the world is about multi-chains who said that first moonbeam said that first okay and they are now showing this by working with the binance smart chain and also other chains so it's really a great and awesome session and it also allows us to uh, understand why they're deploying first on kusama right you can try a lot of things on kusama first it's essentially the same as Polkadot, but it is intended to move uh, faster so that you can test things there and break things there before you move it over to Polkadot. And uh, it's going to be great to be able to see how these companies that have established uh, partnerships with Moonbeam also fit themselves uh, into the main moonbeam chain or even the chain on kusama through moon river and here's an update that i did for my community on on waiting uh, for this opportunity for us to basically uh, bind our kusama and get moon river tokens in return
so tonight is uh, April 19th and on the 20th it's the ICO for uh, Clover on Coinlist and Clover is a competitor of uh, Moonbeam so I had a lot of questions on Clover and Moonbeam and here is how I address the community thank you very much for the uh, comments on discord and also in the telegram group really helped me a lot before we go and talk about the coin that you guys want now, I know you guys want to know, wait now. First, I have a message for you guys for tonight. Please follow it up on, in the group. Now, tomorrow, Clover. Clover is, uh, is, is going for uh, ICO, right? Clover is similar to Moonbeam and to a certain extent, Moon River, because it allows, it brings other changes into Polkadot. This is Ethereum. Ethereum virtual machine is also bringing Bitcoin. So you say, hey, this sounds like Moonbeam, and some have asked me, which is better, Clover or Moonbeam? Hey, I say what? Hey, the more the merrier, right? The more the merrier, because these are all good coins. They do have value. But what is the difference between Clover and uh, Moonbeam? And here are some answers from uh, Moonbeam administrators. These are good answers, right? So Moonbeam also does this. It bridges Ethereum apps onto Polkadot. And it does it in a way that makes it simple because the founder, Derek Yu, basically has said that he wants to make things easy for developers. Once they have to do too many things, they are not going to do it. So here's the answer for Moonbeam. So again, remember that everything from Moonbeam is public open source. So you can even copy this. Hey, CH Chen can even have. Chen can even has Chen Beam or Chen Reaper. No problem. It's open source. But you gotta have to have someone to do this, okay? So they wanted Moonbeam wanted to create something useful for the entire ecosystem. Uh, so the philosophy is in open source, it is easy to copy, but much harder to understand what you are copying and to move the implementation and code forward. So what Moonbeam is trying to say is Moonbeam is the original like Coca-Cola. You know Coca-Cola? And then you had Pepsi-Cola, and then you had Diet Coke, and then you had Coke Zero. And then you had, what else did you have? Yeah, you had all versions of Coke, okay? Cherry Coke and every day. And look, Pure Steak has actually worked in the Fronter repo, which is the main technology that adds Ethereum RPC compatibility to substrate-based change. So they've also developed an extra layer of features, some of them are Frontier, that are aimed to provide the most frictionless Ethereum environment on Polkadot. What does this mean? This means that they are already working deep in the, in the, uh polka dot ecosystem okay so uh, you know i think both are really equally good now and as the community uh, now is waiting for actually the uh, crowd load on moon river right i always have to constantly update them on the progress of moonbeam and also moon river and here's an example okay because polka dot is about staking you understand that so let's go i uh, let's go and see kusama right Polkadot and Kusama is about staking for those that, that haven't been following us. That means if you buy Kusama, of course, the people buying Kusama here are so happy, right? They have a big smile like this. But if you buy here, you are thinking a different way. You know, if you buy at the top here, you are thinking a different way because what you want to do is to use Kusama to get another token. You understand that? You want it to get another token, and this token could be X. And this token X would then go higher and higher than your Kusama. That's how you have to think. Because if you are thinking Kusama is 314, guess what? You won't even buy it, right? You are waiting for the dump, which I don't know when it's coming, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. So you have to think that. This is where your Kusama is used to get another token. And this is the formula on Polkadot. So let's see it and let's then follow it up with an example. Look at here, see Polkadot. Polkadot has parachains, right? These are the chains that connect to the main Polkadot network, A, B, C, D, E, or whatever. There is a fixed number of parachains and they will auction this out, okay? They auction this. It is an auction process. You get this? Yes, one of them is Moonbeam. We're going to go with that. It is an auction process. And in order to get this auction, it can be DOT or the other one is it can be KSM. 
So what Moonbeam, the company that we're going to talk about doing, is that it will do a dot auction. And uh, no, it's not going to do a dot auction. This, this is going to be a crowd sale, okay? But it's definitely going to do a KSM auction. This is for a token called Moon River, right? This is for a token called Glimmer, okay? So again, this is the difference now. Look, your polka dot or your moon, your, your Kusama, whatever now, look at that. Everything has two chains now, okay? The test net, kind of the test net, the experimental test net where you can run things, but these are real applications where you run things first before you migrate to polka dot. It's called Kusama and Moon River will run here first. We can look at it here, right? Okay, here, yeah, Glimmer and River, the utility tokens of the Moonbeam and Moon River networks. Okay, this is Glimmer, Network, Moonbeam, Polkadot, right? The relay chain. The main chain is on Polkadot, but before they run here, they want to test it out. Where do they test it out at? River, Moon River, right? Kusama, it is on Kusama. So when Polkadot, you always have to think in twos, which is cool. Which is, you know, I, I really love that. That means that, you know, there's a lot of things uh, actually to do in the Moonbeam network uh, this, this time around. No, not Moonbeam, but Polkadot network. It is not over yet, but you have to think differently. I don't, sorry guys, I don't think it goes to 50 here. I don't even think it can go back to 100, okay? Uh, definitely, there, there will be kind of a dip one day. I mean, I can imagine it going to here, but I don't see it going back down to 100 or 50 anymore. So you guys got to forget that. This is a different approach. So when you are locking Kusama inside Moon River here, inside here, right? You're locking Kusama inside uh, Moon River. You get river tokens, okay? You get river tokens, okay? And if you are calculating correctly, this means that you are allowing Moonbeam to lock KSM, your KSM, which is your Kusama here, and then you are rewarded with River. This is how you do the ROI. The value from River should go higher than whatever your Kusama is because you get this back. It's like a refund, you know, they don't take it from you. You will get it back. This time, I think it's going to be about two years. You'll get it back after two years, but you didn't make money here, right? So you're happy, right? This didn't go anywhere, but you get to enjoy the gains from River. And people are so excited. Yes, correct, Julie is right. When you stay, you're, you're clever, Julie, you've improved. Julie has improved. Yeah, so when you state KSM, correct, you get river tokens as an airdrop. Man, you are good. No, you can't do it in Binance. You cannot do it in Binance. We, they will give us the address where to keep the KSM, okay? Because what they're going to do is, where's that, that, that thing? Yeah, they're going to apply for a parachain on KSM. You know, th this is for uh, Polkadot. This is for, uh, there's going to be another KSM. And what they do here is there is going to be something called a candle auction. Yeah, like candlestick, but it's not candlesticks, okay? So candle auction, we're actually in the UK, okay? Uh, in, in England, actually, uh, they, at the ports, right? They just put a candle on. And then when the candle goes out like that, that is the final price, okay? That is the final price of the auction, okay? When the candle goes out, so there are going to be a lot of candle auctions, not only for Moonbeam, for a lot of things, you know, like Akala. That's like Akala, right? Akala, Akarura. Karura is on KSM. I believe Akala is on Polkadot, okay? So there's going to be a lot of these coming. So the Polkadot story has not died. I know you guys are saying it's expensive to do Polkadot. You know, uh, even for Polka story, it's all expensive. Yes, but there are other things coming. Not only that, now I think Polkadot and Gavin Wood has done something good. Now, you're going to say that what if that thing is useful? What if they don't have enough money or what if they don't have enough loyal people like Julie and Sui here in order to give up their Kusama for two years in order to get river tokens, right? What are we going to do? Don't worry lah. 
So look at this, right? Kusama jumps ahead of the coming upcoming parachain. It's supposed to be this month. It's going to come out anytime soon. You see that? Parachain roll out. But don't worry, guys. If you don't have money or some of this are good for the public good, Polkadot is coming also with this common good parachains, right? Launch of common good parachains. Okay, so initially there was 100 slots only with an auction process. We said that, that's the candle auction for who gets to lease the parachain. Okay, according to the team on February 25th, some slot will be made available for governance allocated parachains, common good parachains, okay? And these common good parachains have been conceived to address the so-called free rider problem. So you can go to the free rider. This is interesting, you know? So the free rider is best understood with reference to an analogy. Suppose uh, Levi is imposed on a car manufacturers to offset pollution. But what if you go on a bicycle? Hello. What if you take a bicycle? Why would you have to pay for that, right? I mean, well, a bicycle should be considered, well, kind of free or, or cheaper, right? So the governance process will earmark the parachain slots for consideration out with the auction process. This is good. That means it is determined by Polkadot's overall governance council. This is very, very good. So now you guys are excited for airdrops. Man, you guys really like airdrops now. So, I mean, I think this is, this is really, really great. So what is happening now? Now you want to know, right? What's happening with Moonbeam? Is it gonna is it gonna go up? What are the developments? That's what you're gonna ask. Because if it is making progress, then only then should you decide to buy Kusama and basically keep it and basically stake it when it's the time to get your airdrops. Man, you guys are clever. Wayne, you can ask me the question there, okay? You can ask me the question there. And uh, what's happening there now? This is getting quite exciting because I know John is here, right? Look, John, they came out even with a moon river, man. They came out. With I can't believe this. Look at it. Listen to this. So maybe John can even create a song, right? That's a moon river song. Hey, John, can you come up with something better than this? Can you come up with something better than this? Yeah. So. Staking Kusama for two years is different, okay? Then you get an airdrop of river, right? Guys, 